climate change and increase in temperature is affecting the coral reefs. Corals are dying for a lot of reasons, basically due to humans putting pressure on the marine environment. We call them keystone species, so if we lose them, we're going to lose everything else as a result of it. thousands of species, not just the corals themselves. We are constantly bombarded, and rightly so, with coral reef demise around the world. And that is true. Coral reefs are absolutely being obliterated. There's not many opportunities where you can say, well, this is a real opportunity. There's a window of hope. More broadly, I think the idea of the MSC Foundation in this is to try and see what effort can be put to bear to help regenerate the seas and the oceans from the state of crisis that they find themselves in. The situation in Ocean Key is definitely unique because normally a marine reserve you would identify the most pristine areas and you try and keep them protected. What we're doing here is the exact opposite. We've found one of the most degraded areas and we're seeing if we can regenerate. So doing research around Ocean Key does present a good opportunity for addressing many of the research questions that we want to know about the, the future of our oceans and the things that live in those oceans. So we can address how climate change and other things may be affecting corals through the natural reefs in the area and also if we're doing restoration experiments, seeing how we might be able to restore reefs so that they are future-proof, if you will. We felt that it was necessary to do a rapid ecological assessment, REA, because it gives you a snapshot of the environment at the time. We need to determine which type of ecosystems are, you know, in the near shore waters of this key, whether it be coral reefs, seagrasses, and in turn, we're going to be measuring the abundance of fishes to determine how healthy the populations are of these, these ecosystems. After the REA, we found out that we have relatively healthy areas, coral reef habitats. I'm pleased about the results that we're finding, especially considering the types of activity that has historically occurred there. It could have been a lot worse. So right now, what we saw with the REA is that there's a glimmer of hope there. The way we set it up is our primary mission is to restore the natural underwater seascape of Ocean Key to its maximum potential. For this workshop, I'm hoping that by the end of it, we can come up with a, a pretty decent plan to present to the people funding it and to the government about what we can do to protect the area, what resources to protect, how to protect it, where to protect it, and then what we can do as far as restoration. This is down where we were yesterday. Quite a lot of fish, um, almost 1,400 individuals from 58 species. I found that while abundance seems to be relatively low, the diversity was actually quite high. The wonderful part of this, of course, is that if we do this right, I think we will have shown the rest of the world what can be done. We're looking for the corals that have lived through some really hot, nasty conditions. So it'll probably be real shallow water corals and kind of their survivors. So we're going to look in these areas between the islands, exposed to heat in the summer and cold in the winter, and those are the ones we could repopulate around the island. This reef was unique in that it had really high coral diversity, a good amount of live coral cover. It really had the, the whole package. This would be a, a good candidate site for source populations of coral to grow in, in a nursery and then transplant out to other sites, but also to transplant corals to this site because it is doing so well. The aim of the foundation is to help protect and restore the marine environment here. So Ocean Cay has been the site of aragonite sand mining for decades, and that has put an additional stress on the reefs communities around it. So that's where we're focusing our restoration efforts. So if we can save these reefs, we can save them in a lot of places because it's a more extreme problem. With what was going on at Ocean Key for decades was the mining of sand, which had an impact. So we're thinking at Ocean K, we can train the next generation of scientists on how to restore a reef and then export that expertise widely around the world. Finally, we're making decisions with incredible minds in one room, so I'm hoping that it's really going to work. The role in the workshop is to talk about how we're going to restore corals, how we're going to understand how they're going to be impacted by climate change so that the corals that we restore have their optimal chance to survive under future conditions. The workshop's been extremely successful in that. We have a roadmap. We, need, we know what we've got to do. We know what it's going to take. Now let's get on and do it. Active restoration within a year, 
a really good understanding of what works within two to three years. An increase in ecosystem biodiversity when fish come in and start utilising that reef, three to five years. If we continue along the lines that we're going now, the future is going to be very bright. The work that we are proposing is very exciting. We're looking at new and innovative research as well as existing techniques. So the things that we're looking to do will help us to build a, a brighter and better future for the environment around Ocean Key. The MSC Foundation is keen on restoring and nurturing the coral beds around Ocean Key and the Bahamas. Your generous donations will further advance our work, going towards saving one of the most vulnerable sets of coral species on the planet.